Many of the original cast members are out at The Young and the Restless. However, there are a few actors with whom YNR just wouldn't be the same. These are the actors who have been on the show for the longest time. Let's take a look back at these actors' YNR journey as we disclose interesting facts that you might not have known until now. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Doug Davidson may not make as frequent appearances on YNR as in the past. However, he is still the one who has the record of having the longest run on the soap. Doug joined YNR before any of his current co-stars like Eric Braden and Peter Bergman. In contrast to the current premise of YNR, the soap focused on a few elite families like the Williams and Chancellors in the past, and Doug played one of the frontline characters, Paul Williams. Promiscuous in his early years, Paul romanced several ladies in his youth including Nikki Newman with whom he had a secret son. Eventually, he found his soulmate in Christine, a model turned attorney and got married to her. Despite the legacy, Paul has been receiving very little attention from the writers in the past few years. Apparently, Doug has not been fired but has been dropped to recurring status. The changes took place under former head writer Mal Young's direction, so when CBS ended up firing Young and appointed Josh Griffith as the new head writer at the show, fans assumed that their favorite star would have more screen time. Many of the actors' fans, including fellow actor Eric Braden, have frequently voiced concerns on social media platforms, but nothing seems to have changed. Having joined YNR just a few months after Doug Davidson, Melody Thomas Scott holds the second place on the list of the longest-serving YNR stars as of now. She made her debut in February 1979 and recently celebrated her 42nd anniversary at the show. On the special occasion, Melody shared a few words with Soap Opera Digest earlier this year. Nikki and YNR have given me a home and a second family for 42 years and the opportunity to do what I love on a regular consistent basis, which is an actor's dream," she said. Melody is the second actress to play this iconic role on YNR. She was an emergency recast who was hired after the original Nikki, Erica Hope, exited the role. As Melody revealed in her other interview, she was cast in a sitcom pilot at the same time she was offered the role of Nikki. She decided to go with the soap role as her agent had encouraged her to do so. Her decision did not just set her career on a successful path, but helped her meet her future husband, Warner executive producer Edward J. Scott. Just one year after Melody joined YNR, Eric Braden also joined the soap playing the then newly created role of Victor Newman. He took the role after Dabney Coleman, an actor, and his tennis partner encouraged him to do so. He was only supposed to make a guest appearance spanning for two to three months as per the soap's initial plans. However, the character became an immediate hit and the role got upgraded to series regular status. 41 years later, Eric is still leading the show as one of the frontline characters. The 80-year-old is still going headstrong on the show and shows no signs of slowing down. I feel very loyal to the young and the restless, very beholden to Victor and very beholden to the audience who has supported us for all those years. I intend to stay as long as I can," he said in his recent interview with People. Braden's confidence is the result of self-discipline, something he has adhered to from the beginning. He revealed in his interview that even to this day he starts his mornings with 100 left-right combinations of 100 hooks, 100 uppercuts and some planks. I love my life, I love my colleagues, I love my family and friends. So do I see myself retiring anytime soon? Hell no, my life has been enriched by having been introduced to so many things," he added. Kate Linder joined YNR as a part of a one-day, one-line role in 1982. She was supposed to play a small part as show's late icon Catherine Chancellor's maid. The character did not even have a name, she was simply just the maid of Catherine. Even Linder had no idea that she would last this long on the show. Recalling the time when Weiner's then casting director Tom Palmer offered the role to her, Linder said, He said, I have a part for you, but it's so small, blink, and you'll miss it. She was told that she might get some bigger opportunities down the line, but she did not believe him. Linder was not sure of her decision, but she gave the role a try, and here she is today, still playing the role 39 years later. Can you imagine if I had turned it down? It would have been the biggest mistake of my life, she said. From the day she took on the role of Esther to this day, Linder has been pulling off double duty as a flight attendant for United Airlines. Her former co-star Jean Cooper was the first person from the Warner set to learn about her dual career. 
Beth Maitland is another significant member of the Weiner family who represents one of the soap's prime families, the Abbots. Technically, Beth's TV brother Jack Abbott was introduced way before her, but the role was recast in 1989 with Peter Bergman, which makes her time on the soap longer than that of Peter. Beth joined Weiner in 1982 as a guest star. Her role was supposed to last for just two to three months, however, she ended up signing a contract with the show. She was initially offered a five-year contract, following which the contract was extended. Once in 2007, Tracy had a crossover appearance on Weiner's sister soap The Bold and the Beautiful. Although the role has never been recast, a child actress Valentina Sky Gordon was hired in 2018 to play the younger version of the role. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.